Hey guys, it's me, Main Luke, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to get Project Reboot version 3 to play any season with your friends. This works for chapters 1, 2, and 3, with seasons 2 to 19 being available. Anyways, let's get right into this video. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna join the Reboot Discord server, link in my description. Once you join, go to the Launcher channel, and download the latest launcher. It will then download and open up the setup file. Click on More Info, and click on Run Anyway. Press the yes button that appears on your screen and then you can tick whatever option you want. I'm just going to tick on create a desktop shortcut and the reboot launcher should start installing. And then once it's finished, make sure that launch reboot launcher is unticked and then click on finish. Then go to your Windows search bar and search up reboot launcher. You will then find it here. Right click on it and click on open file location. You'll then see the shortcut for the reboot launcher. Right click on it and click on properties. Then click on advanced and turn on run as administrator. Once that's ticked, click OK and then click apply. Then click on continue. The only reason that we're doing this is because at the moment the launcher is still a bit buggy and then click on OK. Now search up the reboot launcher and you should get this pop up. Click on yes. And there you go, the reboot launcher should finally open. Now click on this game icon here. Now type in your username here, so mine is just mineloot. And the password is optional depending on the type of server backend that you are using. We don't need to do this part though. The matchmaking host should be 127.0.0.1. Make sure that automatically start game server is ticked. This means that every time you launch Fortnite, a server will start. You can untick this if you want to. There's also a new feature where you can browse for available servers, but at the moment, this doesn't properly work. If this ever works, then all you need to do is click on browse, and then you can choose a server to join. Now we need to download a version, and I recommend going to this website found in my description called Fortnite Builds. This gives you a lot of seasons to play as well as chapter 1, chapter 2, and chapter 3. Now right now you can only go up from season 2 to season 19. So that's chapter 1, season 2 to chapter 3, season 1. So all you need to do is choose the season that you want to play. So I'm going to go for chapter 2, season 2, which is just season 12. Now for this video, I'm going to be using 12.41, but you guys can use any season you want. I'll probably make a separate tutorial showing how to play chapter 3, and stuff like season 20 do not work just now. And once you've found the build that you want, click on this link to download it and it will start downloading. Now this can take time depending on your internet speed. As you can see, mine says it's going to take about an hour, but this can kind of differ. I'm going to leave it and I'll come back to you guys once it's done. And when it's installing, if you get interrupted network, just resume again. And it should start working. Now, once you have the season installed, make sure to have WinRAR. It's in my description and it's really easy to install. Once you click on it, you'll download the WinRAR exe file, then open it and press yes. Then click on install, and then click on OK. And there you go, you now have WinRAR. Once you have WinRAR fully installed, the icon should change to this. Then right click on it, and click on extract to 12.41 backslash, or the version of your choice. And it'll start extracting. This can take a couple of minutes, depending on the speed of your hardware. So I will be back with you guys once it's finished. Once it's finished, it should become a folder, and inside that folder, it should have the folders Engine and Fortnite Game. Then you can just delete all these files here, go to your recycle bin, and then just delete everything outside your recycle bin. Then just go back to the reboot launcher and click on the Add Build button. Then give it a name, I'm just going to call it 12.41, and then go to Path and click on this folder icon right here. Then click on the 12.41 folder you installed, click it again, and make sure you're on these two folders here. Click select folder at the bottom right and then press save and there you go all you need to do now is just press the launch button and the game will now load up and we're now loading into chapter 2 season 2 once you're in the game mode selection screen you should get this pop up right here and this is the menu that you can use to start up the server you can change the playlist you can turn on late game, play the event, and you can even turn on siphon, infinite ammo, and infinite materials. So I'm going to turn on these two. But all you need to do is wait for this to start. Once it starts, the menu should look like this. You've got a game tab, a zone tab, a dump tab, and a fun tab. Now on the game tab, it will tell you all the things from earlier, as well as the joinable. If it says false, that means you can't join just now. Wait till this says true, and then you can join. With the zone tab, you can start the zone, pause the zone, skip a zone, start a shrink zone, and skip the shrink zone. And this is the part where I'll show you how to get the playlist and the weapons. So in the dump part, you can dump skins, playlists, and weapons. If you do want skins, I will be showing that later on. And then the fun tab, that's how you can like give people items and stuff. You can give an item to everyone. Now once you're on the game mode selection screen, click on Battle Royale. 
and you should load into the lobby. Now, on this version that I'm on just now, you cannot actually equip skins. And I may make a tutorial in the future showing you guys how to just equip skins from your locker into the game. But that will be a separate video and I don't know if I will make that or not, it kind of depends. To join your own private match, all you need to do is open up the console by clicking this key on screen. It will open it up, then go to your locker, then type in open 127.0.0.1. Or you can just click the play button right here and it will queue you straight into the match. As you can see, we are now loading into the game. And as you can see, we are now in Fortnite Chapter 2 Season 2 in 2023. It is all marked out, but yeah, it does work. And as you can see, I do have infinite materials. As well as infinite ammo. So, yeah, see my ammo isn't going down. Now I'm going to show you how to get your friends to join. Okay, so you're going to click the next link in my description, which will take you to the playit.gg website. This pretty much lets you host your own server to your friends for completely free. So all you need to do is press the download button. Once you click that, click on download for Windows. And then open up the EXE. You'll then get taken to this page. Now click on create an account. And you can either use a guest account or create your own account. Once you log in, it may ask you to add a tunnel. If so, click on add tunnel. And then go to the tunnel section. And then click on add tunnel. Where it says tunnel type, click on TCP plus UDP protocol. Then make sure the port count is 1 and the local port is 7777. Then click on add tunnel. You'll now get given an IP which is located right here. And then tell them to follow this tutorial. And then go to the matchmaking host section and paste the IP in here. This will make it so anytime you ready up you queue into their game. Once you've done that, reopen the play at exe file. You'll then get this pop up and click on continue. It will then connect you to their servers. And when you go back to the EXE, you should see that Connection Alive is true and Tunnel Setup is true. Also, I forgot to say this, but click on the T button on your keyboard and then make sure to copy the Tunnel Port range. So, for example, just copy the number that's here, put it like this on screen. And as you can see, my friend is actually in the game. Let me go find him real quick. Oh, there we go, there he is. As you can see, you can actually see him. And yeah, it works. So I'm going to show you guys how to use commands now. So if you guys click the F2 button on your keyboard, you should actually unlock the cheat manager. Now in my description is this script right here by Ralsify. Pretty much it has a bunch of commands that you can use and a bunch of like modes and stuff. For example, you can equip skins. So I'm going to find the Arctic Assassin. So it is right here. So there's Arctic Assassin. You copy the ID here and then press copy. And then when you're back in the game, all you need to do is open up the console. And then paste the command in and click enter. And as you can see, I'm wearing this skin. And you can actually see it as well. So that's cool. You can also equip pickaxes the exact same way. Just by finding the pickaxe here, for example, the Raider's Revenge, you can just copy it here. And then paste it into your console. And as you can see, I've got the Raider's Revenge pickaxe. And you can also give yourself any weapon. For example, if I want to give myself a legendary pump, I just copy the ID. And then paste in. And as you can see, I've got a legendary pump. There's so much more commands you can do, and if you want to find them all out, then just open up the console and type cheat help. And then, double tap the console button, and you should see the commands here. You can give items, summon blueprints, teleport to a location, launch players, give a list of the players, set your health and shield, as well as you can also spawn bots. So yeah, this is actually really cool. And if you want to start the bus, then go back to the reboot menu, and click on the start bus button right here. And as you can see, we are officially now in the bus, dropping back into like locations like Agency, the Yacht, Shark, uh, the Rig, and also the Grotto over here. I missed this season so much, like the lockdown vibes were crazy in it, so I actually like to go and play it again. I'm gonna drop Agency. And as you can see, I can also set my shield, so I'm gonna make my sh shield like 100. And there we go. Look, as you know, I've got a legendary pump. But yeah, there's so much you can do on the server, and you can, like I said, you can even do late game and stuff like that. And you can summon stuff as well. There's a whole bunch of commands on that list. Oh no, he's, he's gone in a chopper. Why is he here? He's here in a chopper. Where is he? Oh my god. I'm gonna hop in. Let me in there. Let me in the chopper. I'm on. Let's go. What is he doing? He's actually stuck. That guy is not a good driver. Oh, look, there he is. He's inside the chopper.
And you can also give yourself powers like God Mode, for example, if I type Cheat God, as you can see, God set to 1. So that means I can literally have God Mode on. Let me try it just now. Okay, maybe God Mode did not work. But yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Make sure to like, subscribe, and I hope you guys do enjoy playing on these servers with your friends.